Hi everyone, I'm Joanne from Petite Side of Style. If you're watching this video, this is going to be a Bugaboo Chameleon 3 Plus review kind of demonstration and talk through. I'm going to be telling you some of my favourite features of this pushchair and my least favourite. We have been using this pram for about 17 months now. My daughter Pollyanna is 17 months. I'm now pregnant with my second and I'm considering the bugaboo donkey now. So um, we have gone through several prams in those 17 months, but we have stuck with the bugaboo chameleon. I'll, I'll talk through loads of features that we really like about it that other prams didn't have. If you'd like to have a look at some of my other reviews, please check out um, them. They're up on my YouTube channel as well. Um, but we did another Bugaboo review, which was for the Bugaboo B, which we use when we're traveling. And that was also really, really great. But there are other brands that we have reviewed on here. This review is a very honest review from a mum's point of view and things that I have found easy and things that I have found difficult with it. I'm gonna run through everything from the baby cot stage. I've attached it as the baby cot at the moment. We're currently using the big seat, uh, which we love and I will talk through accessories that I've used and things like that. So before I carry on talking, let's just get started with the video. In terms of disclaimers, I also just want to mention that Bugaboo kindly gifted us this push chair. I have not been asked to do this review. As you can tell, this is 17 months after receiving it and I'm doing this just because I like to make sure I use these products and really know a lot about them and what I like about them before I put them up on my channel. So this is what we went for when Pollyanna was born. It's the, although when she was born, the plus wasn't even available. So the difference is the chaffe is a difference. So the different styles, different colors and fabrics. And also the basket. So the thing that I disliked about the Bugaboo when we were first using it, when Pollyanna was a newborn, was that the basket was so difficult to get into. It was quite high and you kind of had to squeeze things in. And me and Adam both didn't like that. Then they brought out the plus, which was the added feature of an easier accessible basket and that just changed things completely and it kind of left us with, in all honesty, nothing wrong with the pushchair, nothing to complain about, no like, yeah, no, there was absolutely, I must say, this is the only pushchair we've used that for both of us doesn't have any faults. So I'm five foot and Adam is six foot something. Um, and obviously that height difference. We've had prams that have been too high for me and just right for him. Um, just like little things. I think it's really hard to find a pram that both of you like as well. And especially when it comes to colours as well. That was quite a big deal for us. So we went for the grey. We knew we was having a girl but at the time I really loved my greys. And she was born in February and for me grey it was going to be like wet weather, quite miserable. That was kind of the perfect colour. Inside was a nice cream, so that was really light for her when she was like laying in the pushchair, I found. The best thing about this pushchair is its hood. The hood is one of the best things for wind and for sunshine. So we have used this, we've swapped the hood several times. So Bugaboo offer a summer hood, which has, um, clear side panels and like breezy sections so that the air can still get through. We've had that one in grey um, and we're currently, now we're in summertime, we're actually using the white option. So I will show you all of that when I switch it over but I wanted to show you the baby cot part first and we've only had that in grey. So the best thing about this was its hood. So this is its normal feature but then it also has the zip here which zips all the way around and then covers the baby completely. This is so perfect, and I found that so many pushchairs don't offer a decent hood, especially for sunshine, you'd have to have an umbrella, and I don't think um, I don't think umbrellas are great at all. So this for me was great when she would fall asleep, we'd pull it down, it didn't matter if it was daylight, where we were, it would it was like her own little cocoon and I really, really like that. And it's still a feature that I really like now on the seat option. So that's the hood and you can also change the colour of the hood really, really easily, which I will show you after. And then going on to the cot, we actually put a wall liner in so when she was lying flat, it would keep her warm. The great thing about these is that they regulate your baby's temperature. temperature 
So they can be used in summer and in winter, which a lot of people don't know. So your baby could be in this in summertime and people will think you're absolutely bonkers for putting your baby on fur, but sheep skin regulates your baby's temperature and keeps it at the, like at the right temperature that it should be at. So we took this away to Marrakesh. Every, every time we go on holiday, we take it with us. She's never sweated in it, it's never been too much, and it's just, it looks, it also makes the pram look really, really luxurious. So we've used this throughout, we, we still use this now. Uh, when it comes to the, the liner, it's been washed as well. What I would recommend is that you buy a brush for it, because once you wash it, it comes out looking a bit tatty. As soon as you brush it with a wool brush, it looks brand new again, so that's, yeah, not, I don't think many people know, know to like buy the brush with it, but I'd really recommend that. It has one of these handlebars, which you can also hang things on for your baby. You can have your baby facing you, or it can face the other way. Obviously, when they're newborn, they tend to face you until they get to that toddler stage. When it comes to breaking on the pram, the brake is just here. And I find that really easy to use just because it's not on the foot like when it's on the when it's on the floor i kind of think like you've got to go like this and i just think for your different heights as well it's a little bit better being here you also need you also need two hands to take it off the brake which is a really great safety feature so obviously if you have kids and you're worried about them taking the pusher off the brake you actually have to push it in at the side and push it down and then it pops back up and then it has adjustable handlebars which for me, I have all the way down, but it's so good. Adam finds it the best height ever. Another great thing for this pram was the car seat option. So it was compatible with our car seat, which was a maxi cozy. And I think if you check online, I think it's compatible with most car seats. So we also use that option a lot. The great thing and ease of this, of this push chair was the swivel wheels at the front. So that means we also have a French Bulldog. So I would take Blue for a walk and push the push chair. And those swivel wheels make it so much easier and com more comfortable for me pushing with one hand. So that was, that's a great option that not many of the other prams have. Normally they have just these back wheels um, at the front and back. And obviously that's not very easy to turn. I couldn't imagine not having these swivel wheels now. It's really strange, isn't it? But like when we, do, when we take our travel prams away, I really miss the swivel wheels just because they do make your life so much easier. And I think if you've got another child as well that you're holding the child's hand, it's just a lot, it just gives you a lot more ease and comfort when you are pushing with one hand. So when you are using the baby cot, you don't need an umbrella, personally, I don't think. We never used an umbrella. We would always have the hood up. And as I mentioned, you can switch to summer hoods, which are more suitable so the baby can have a little bit of light in there. Um, the fabrics are also um, factor 50, like SPF 50, so they're some, they're, they protect your baby from the sun as well. So that that was, that was gave me a lot of ease, just even knowing that, that you, like I could pull the hood over and she'll be protected. So now I'm going to switch from the baby cot over to the big seat, um, the toddler kind of version, but bear with me if I forget how to do this. So. Um, and also, to, in all honesty, my partner is going to do this for us. I wouldn't do it. So it felt very strapped around the bar. So the hood has these two little attachments, which you, there we go. So they unclip from there, and then the bars slide out. Yep. So that's the hood comes off like that, and that is how you change it as well. So that's off. Then all of these velcro straps come off the baby part. We have the grey one for when we had Pollyanna and the grey option, but we now also use this black one. So we've switched up the colour. So this handlebar comes off as well, like I said. It slides over like so. It has these buckles which wrap around the bottom. And then again, it just has these Velcro parts which strap along the bottom. So this is the big seat attached and that literally took a couple of minutes. The great thing about this pusher is how customizable it is to you. And that's something I really, really love. So now I'm gonna attach the hood which we now have. 
Um, we've now got it in cream because it's summertime, and this one is a light, a more lightweight fabric. The grey one is a lot more suitable for winter time, and oh, yeah, so you, you literally just pull these bars out and then put them through here. It's just so easy to do, and within minutes, your push chair looks like a brand new push chair. And then when it comes to putting the hood on, it just hooks over the side. These parts here go in. They just slide in. Oh, it really needs a clean. So that's such a good thing about these is you just throw them in the washing machine. And then once that's all clipped on, that is your hood. As you can see, that really transforms the push chair just instantly. It's, it's amazing. So. You can then have the choice of having your baby facing you or facing out. Um, Pollyanna prefers to be facing out. It's so lightweight and so quick and easy to just do it. The best thing for me about this seat version is how much it declines, reclines, <laughs> reclines. It goes all the way back like so. So when she's sleeping, she's literally practically laying flat and it's the only push chair that I have seen that lies back as flat as this and then you push the hood over and she's completely enclosed in her own little world. So that's one of my favourite features about the seat part of this push chair. The push chair also has a five point harness so it has the part that comes in between the legs, it has these straps over the top and around the side so depending on the preference of your baby what you prefer i know some kids hate being strapped in at the top um, you could just do the side but we personally use all five points of the harness and i just think that's a great safety feature i will add the seat liner onto the push chair because like i said we use this still all the time So easy to take on or off. So if you do feel like you've changed your mind, you just take it off. So that's what it would look like. Again, I think the cream on cream makes it look really luxurious and really expensive. And I really like the lighter colors with the black for summer. We also still add the handlebar to the front, but when we're out for dinner, we will take this off so that she can sit at the table with us without even needing a high chair sometimes. So we'll literally take this off and the chair itself just kind of acts like a high chair in a way in some places that we go to. So another great thing about this push chair, we live by the beach and we're at the beach quite a lot. So a good thing about this is you can flip the handlebars. So if I'm pushing it this way, I've done it back to front. So basically the handlebars can be flipped by pushing these two buttons at the side and then they flip all the way around so that the big wheels are at the back and then using the big wheels you can drag it along snow or sand or just rough terrain so that's a great thing for me when we go to the beach just me and her I don't have to worry about somebody else being there to carry the push chair with me with this push chair I've not needed to use an umbrella either um, the hood is just so great that we don't need one and we also have the hood which has a square in the front so then we can push it all the way down. She's completely covered, she's protected from the sun because it's, it has the SPF 50 and she can still look out of the square at the front when it's fully down. So that it's really worth taking a look at the hoods that they offer as well and like the extra accessories that they offer. And another accessory that I wanted to show you that we have used with this push chair was the foot muff. So we use this in winter time and it was in the cream color and I really, really loved it. So we were getting ready for summer. I kind of wanted to update the push chair and I knew that we could quite easily by changing the color. Um, so I went for this kind of cream color knowing it would be perfect for summertime. But at the, at the time it was still quite miserable weather. So we got the foot muff as well. And it's just so cozy and beautiful. She loved it. Now when it comes to folding it down, I'm not going to lie, I struggled to fold this down. Not all the time. I had one problem where I was out on my own with her and I couldn't get the push chair down. Um, I hadn't done it many times, I must admit, Adam does normally. I walk everywhere, so um, 
when when we fold the pushchair down, I normally just like give it to Adam and he puts it down. So then it came to me doing it on my own and I had to call him up and I was like really quite stressed in. It can be a stressful moment, I'm sure we've all been there. So all you do when you fold it down is there's two like rectangle buttons that you press here and that takes this part out. It folds quite flat into the car like this and obviously you can take this handlebar off but the handlebar is also really great for transporting the pushchair. And this was the part I struggled with and I've done it a few times since then and not had any problems. I think I was just in a bit of a panic mode. So you push down the two side buttons that you'd press to make the handlebars flip over and the back bit goes in. Now I don't even know if I'm doing this correct, this is how I do it. So the, the front wheels come up and join with the two back wheels and then that bit goes down and you hold it like this. Now I think that was right because when Adam does it, he does it so quickly. I don't know how. Maybe because he's bigger and like... But when I do it, I feel like I'm really concentrating. So yeah, it folds down really flat. And then you can also take these wheels off. So if you're going away perhaps and you kind of need as much space in the car as possible, you can take the two big wheels off and it will be like practically flat which I hadn't realised until recently because we're going on a road trip. And then to put it up, oh, this, <laughs> I'm going to look so silly doing this, but you know, this, this is real life. To put it up, you flip it, well, this is how I do it anyway. You hear the click, and then that's it. And then you throw the thing back on top, and voila. So that just comes out. You literally just line them up. And then you hear both sides click, and that's it. Done. So that is my Bugaboo Chameleon 3 Plus review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was insightful. It was literally me going through everything step by step and showing you the ease or maybe not so much ease of using things and using the different features of it. I personally find this push chair to be such great quality and ease of use that we are planning on using the bugaboo donkey when we have two children in the push chair. If you have any questions about something that I perhaps didn't cover or you just want to know something, please leave me a comment in the comment box and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Apart from that, I will see you in my next video on Sunday. Bye!